Show them what a peak state looks like by your example. Come on now. Come on now, wake it up. Come on, wake them up, wake them up. Come on. Whoa. What is the key to living a life of fulfillment and abundance and just having an extraordinary life in general? Today I want to share with you something cool that I learned from my good old mate Tony Robbins. <laughs> For those of you who don't know who Tony Robbins is, he's a philanthropist, a motivational speaker, and a business owner. He's been doing this thing now for, I think, over 30 years. And he's just really good at understanding why people do what they do, what motivates them to take action, and what makes the difference between people that are unsuccessful and people that attain massive success in their life. Now, you can be like a massive financial success, and you may quote unquote succeed but you end up fucking committing suicide. That's because you haven't mastered the seven pillars of your life or the seven areas that are most important for anyone to master. And this is where the pyramid of mastery comes in. This is a, a tool that you can use to evaluate where you are currently in your life. And um, from this, you can strategize what you're gonna do to master these seven areas and live an extraordinary life just be you're going to be rich you're going to be wealthy emotionally spiritually physically and mentally so let's begin with the pyramid at the base and this is a hierarchy of levels so the base from the base up it's the most important so at the base you've got your physical body now your physical body is your vehicle in life and without it you're not going to get very far so Think of it as a car. If you've got a mechanical problem, how is the car going to go anywhere? <laughs> so you've got to get your body strong before you work on your mind. So to do that, obviously you're going to have your sleep, water, sugar, and you're going to move your body on a regular basis. The next step of the pyramid is emotions and meaning. So this is where your emotional fitness comes in. And this has got a lot to do with the meaning that you give things. So let's say something tragic happens in your life. Let's say um, you become paralyzed. The meaning that you give that determines how you're going to live the rest of your life. So you can um, become depressed and just give up completely on life. Or you can use that as an opportunity to inspire other people who've been through something similar and will inspire people who may have full functionality of their body and they just see you as a as a role model of what's possible so you like contrast to them so that's where and also like your emotions mastering your emotions so let's say you feel something um, mastery of emotions is the ability to transmute your emotion into something positive or just not stay in an emotional state for an extended period of time. So that's that level. And then the next level is your relationships. Now obviously if you haven't mastered your emotions, your relationships are going to perish. So that's why we see this hierarchy in the pyramid. Your relationships are very important to have a fulfilling life. So this is your intimate relationships, your friendships, your business relationships, um, and your relationships, um, you know, just in general, all your relationships. So that's the next step of the pyramid. And then you've got, uh, <laughs> just trying to mem remember all the steps. Oh yeah, one more thing that I wanted to say, uh, your relationships magnify the human experience. So everything that you experience for yourself what you experience um, to be true for your own life when you experience that with someone else it's just going to be more intense um, the next thing is your time time is very important to master because this is simply where you focus your energy on so if you focus your energy on playing video games or watching TV then obviously you are a 1 out of 10 on this scale and you haven't mastered your time. So this is very important. 
And once you've mastered the first four steps of the pyramid, the other three will naturally flow. So step number five is your career and your mission, your purpose, as Dune Rider always talks about. Go live your life purpose, mate. If you ain't living on purpose, you're wasting your life. <laughs> yeah, work, career, mission, and purpose. That'll come from mastering your time because that's where you're going to focus your energy on. And then you'll be able to master that as well. And the following step is your finances. So if you've got your work, career, mission, purpose, if you've got that sorted, the finances will flow as well because that's a medium, simply a medium of exchange for value. And work, career, mission, purpose, that's providing value to the world. And finally, you've got spirituality and contribution. This is what you give back to the world. And this spirituality is also just uh, self-development as well. So, and uh, your contribution, that part of the pyramid, will be tied in with your career and mission if you plan it correctly. So if your career and mission is giving back, is, is uh, giving to something more than yourself, then it's ideal. That's what you want. And it'll be fulfilling long term. So that's the seven steps of the pyramid. And if you can master those seven areas of your life, you're going to have an extraordinary life and you'll feel fulfilled and it'll be easy to give to other people. And that's it.